All right, guys, I got a double header for you today. Both of them are from the Opportunity Rover. And I'm going to show you some things in these photos. Like I've been telling you all along, they love to hide a lot of these things in them. And when I show you what's in the photos, you're just going to be like, no way. There's no way these things are in there. Let's get started. Let me show you what I'm talking about. One of them I enhanced already, so it's not in Photoshop. And I'm going to show you why I did that, because it's a lot like this photo here. There's things hidden. And like I said, let's get into this. All right, guys, when I look at this photo, it looks like just simple rocks, right? Um, you do have some shadowing here. You can see this rock here on the left, so on and so forth, right? A rock right here. Um, and you can see the shadowing with that, or at least at least a darker side to it, right? But you don't see any shadows. How come? There's not a whole lot of shadowing there. See this? Maybe a little bit right there. And if it is, it's then it's right there, literally like 12 noon. Because you can see, look at this rock in the lower right corner. You can see like it overhangs. It's got a little bit of a shadow right there, right? So this might be like a high noon kind of photo. This is what I see when I'm looking at these whited areas right here. And I don't know if you guys can see this, but check this out. Section. There's like one section. Another section. Another one. A little fainter right there, but right here. This part kind of blows my mind. Look at this white area right here in the middle, almost in the middle, but down. You've got what looks like this white area, but it goes up and over and then down. You see the dark area just below that. See it? Right here. And then you've got this lighter area. Wait a minute. This is supposed to be a flat area, right? Why does it look like something's ghosted out and it's it like literally got some height to it? What the hell could that possibly be, right? You've got this right here going across, but what you have is up and over. Okay, and something looks like it's kind of like, like it's doing this, but then has this right here. And on the other side, it goes drops down. And this would probably go like this here, because that's what it looks like. It's a real faint line. But anyway, you see what I'm talking about. Why would this item be here at all if this ground is completely flat? There's nothing here. Nothing there to see, right? At least that's what it looks like when you see it from a distance. Let me just back out. It's what it looks like, but it's not. They're hiding things right here. And there's multiple things right behind it. Now, I really go out of my way to actually clear this up to give you guys an idea what this might be. Because truthfully, I don't know what it is. Okay? We can only speculate anyway, right? I've always said this, and I stand by that. All we can do is speculate. We can say it looks like this, but there's no way to actually say, you know, whether it is or not. So anyway, so I, I started to get into this photo. Now, watch this. I'm going to back up to give you guys the whole picture here. First step we're going to do. Boom. Okay. Now we've got some depth. Okay. Let's zoom back in. And you can see this item right here. Right here. Now it looks like it's doing this. It's coming up. Going over. Back down. And down like this. But pay attention to the details. Check this out. There's a little type square type thing. With a round circle in it. It also has these white kind of pieces right here. There's one on each side. Okay, so now I'm thinking, okay, again, we're looking at, a, at this flat ground, supposedly. What the hell? That simply makes no sense. But look at these objects in the back now. Look at the way this thing looks like it's got sections. Right here, there's one, two, three faintly. There's something that looks like almost like that one there. See right there? Very small. Kind of doing this. Goes up like this and over goes across, and the other piece does this here. And whatever this other stuff is in the back here. Okay. So let's get into this a little bit more. This Guys, this is crazy. Even this part here, next to this other part, I'm going to bring this out a whole lot better for you guys. Another section. Space in between right here. Another section. And this is really, really crappy detail at the moment. Watch this. So let's bring this down a little bit more. I'll try to smooth it out. See the difference between this? Bring out the brighter areas and look at what we've got. What are we looking at right here, guys? Look at this. The different whiter, brighter sections. And again, guys, some people say, well, you know, this is not very clear. How the heck can you make anything out of it? It wasn't meant to be clear. They're hiding it. So it wasn't meant to be clear. One two, three. Again, that other piece that looks similar to the bigger one over here. These whited areas right there. 
and all of this stuff on this side. Can't make heads or tails of that. I, again, I'm not surprised because you weren't supposed to see this anyway. Okay, so let's keep going with this. And I'm going to just keep going. Okay, put a little blur in it so it doesn't look too bad. Check that out. Bring in a little bit more, see if we can't keep bringing it out. And what I did was, check this out, I started to bring this, just to go over this with white. Now, I'll tell you why I did that. You've got to look at the lines here. Now, this is blurry, and I and I understand, but check this out. Right here, I'm going to do this in white, doesn't really matter. But you can see right here, goes down like this, goes over, and kind of does this, okay? And you've got the other details here. Going like this. You can see that right here. You can almost clearly see that pretty darn good, right? But the reason why I did that is because these lines, I wanted to see what I could bring out, right? So I started to bring this out. And again, here's that, that line I was telling you about right there. Okay. Okay. And then I brought it down even more. I don't really care about this section too much. But I wanted to see if I could bring up more detail that looked more like this, right? Okay. So, like I said, that's what it looked like. And this is what the end result is. Let me just bring it way back out a little bit. And you can see the objects in the background. Now, what's the first thing you think about when you see something like this here? I think of this. Now, again, this may be my pareidolia, but that's what I think about. Okay? We're not saying that's what it is, right? We're just saying that's what it looks like. You see the front of this thing looks like this has got a window or it could have been a door. Who the hell knows what it is, right? But that's the first thing that comes to my mind. Is it that? No way of knowing. And I'm not going to say yes, it is. I don't know. I simply don't know. But whatever that thing is, it's in the photo. And it's much more to these photos than meets the eye. Now, you might say, Chris, I, I'm not I'm not feeling it, man. I, I don't believe you at all. I'm not sure, you know, if you're just seeing things or whatever. Okay, let me show you another photo. And again, we don't have to go to Photoshop this time. I've got a side-by-side -side I put together for you guys. I'm going to show you this real quick. Okay, show you this real quick. Now, take note of this photo here. Now, this is, I can go like this. But I'll show you where this is at. This is right here. And this is, of course, you can see it's right here. It's, uh, and this is actually Sol 957. And, of, of course, you guys will get the link. Um, now, let's check this out a little further. Look at these anomalies right here on the right-hand side, right there. And take note of this blurriness right here. See this? Not too bad here. I mean, it's not the best quality anyway. We know that, right? Um, I don't think they give us the real good photos anyway. Purposely degraded. So we can't make heads or tails out of these things, right? But look at the difference right here. You kind of expect it. You know, get some compression marks. But then all of a sudden you go back here. Look at the difference in these areas right here. And again, you guys will be able to scrutinize these, right? Um, what the hell could that possibly be? Check this out. You can see what looks like these pieces right here. You can see it's been completely blurred out all the way over here. And look at these little white pieces. There's something right here, here. Now, let me show you this side by side like I was showing you. I'm going to get a lot closer right now. Check them out. There's white objects sitting right here. And then all of a sudden, you can actually see it square right here. And just a little bit of detail coming through. I want to show you another piece. Check this out. This little sliver right here. That's actually information. That's the only thing that's left. See how the, this line right here, the actual very back line of this, where the horizon is? And right from here down, they've completely taken out or covered over the information. Go over here. Again, we got a little bit of detail right in this little sliver of area right there. That's where you can see these little rocks or whatever they're supposed to look like rocks. But again, from here down, you can see this has been completely fudged over. You can actually see this a little bit better right here. This is cool. You can see it's squared out. The objects are right here. I'm not sure what to make of them, guys. I couldn't tell you exactly what these things are. But again, we almost got the same thing. We've got these weird blocks and these sections. What are they? Okay. And again, you've got this little sliver right here. See this information right here? Right there. Completely, you can see something white right in there. And then the rest of it's completely just taken out. See it? You come over here, you can see there's pretty decent detail. And then all on the back here completely fudged out. You can see it right there. In fact, you can look at this right here. 
Look at this line right here, right down here. It keeps going right through here, and then it's been mishmashed. You can see it right here. But whatever these things are, there's something right in this whole area. Let me show you what that is. Move over. It's the side by side I was telling you about. Check this out. There is no doubt in my mind that these rovers were placed here purposely. You know, obviously the Opportunity rover is nowhere near the Curiosity rover. Uh, it was put hundreds of miles away. Uh, but nevertheless, check out these little details that's in here. See what this looks like? The round circle. It's got these pieces right here. They're sectioned. See this? There's something else right in here. Not sure what to make of that. But they're sectioned off. And this is the best you can get out of this photo because, again, it wasn't meant to be seen. Look at this stuff right here. It looks like this piece is hanging out of this. I'm not sure what to make of that, guys. But check that out. Now, you go back to the other side here. It's nowhere to be seen. But again, look at the way there's no shadows whatsoever. Look at this. Nothing. Completely information covered over, redacted, nothing to see. But yet you come over here, I got some decent detail. Not too bad, right? Over here on, on the on the agile cliff right there, you can see some, some detail, not a whole lot. But you can see some. See that? But this whole area is completely redacted of information, covered over, and there you go. Now I'm going to back out of this just so you guys can see the side-by-side. -side. Check that out. Nothing there on the right, completely flat. But there is objects here. They are looking at ancient civilization their uh, stuff that was left behind it's kind of like when you go back to like our ancient civilizations when you look at uh pomopunku uh, you know things like that where it's abandoned ancient civilizations there's nobody there to actually keep up the whatever these things are so it just lays waste right um but like i said here it is here's a side by side guys Nothing there, completely flat, but there are. There are many things sitting in there, and here it is. And like I said, guys, they, <laughs> you know, back in the 70s, you know, and before then when they had these orbiters and flyby uh, missions, they seen what was on the surface. This is the reason why these, these rovers and probes and everything else are around this planet and on it at the moment. Um, now, unfortunately, uh, opportunities no more. Uh, according to them, after that big dust storm that they had, it completely rendered it inoperable. Um, so basically, it's a dead stick. And it's sad to say that because um, that thing's been going since 2004, along with the Spirit Rover, which that one died a long time ago. Got stuck, supposedly got stuck. But I did a video on that, and it looks like it got stuck in some kind of mechanical something or other in the dirt. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember that, but I did do that. Um, I mean, look at this. Look at the difference. Nothing there. And then we got a whole line of something right off, off here, right next to this peninsula or this cliff right here, right there. I'm not even sure what to make of these round things here. This I'm not even sure what that is, but you can check that out. Whatever these things are, again, there's there's some height to it. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not a flat surface like they want you to believe. Like that. I mean, guys, give me your take on it. I've shown you this before. The best way to take out detail is to take away shadows and darker areas of any object, right? Uh, render the photo like really piss poor quality. So that's the whole idea, to keep it everything hidden. And yeah, we're just all over this planet, you know, with these different rovers and orbiters and everything else, just because we're looking for rocks, guys. We're simply just looking for a little water. Now, they've already ha had water, which I predicted they would. Um, and they're going over things that... Like I said, it was left behind by a civilization. Now, what the stuff is on here, I couldn't tell you. But to me, this looks intelligently made. Whatever that item is, or these items are, again, we're not going to see a whole lot of detail because it wasn't meant to be seen to begin with. Whatever that is, and again, this is just showing you guys what we were seeing earlier, and this one here zoomed in on this side. You can see it right there. And you can see the line. They actually went like this. Look at this. This is awesome. Right here. Completely fudged right there. The whole line going right across. And, of course, it's, you know, we have uh, a low-res photo that makes it pixelate and everything else. So when you do zoom in, all you see is these white blotches, right? Well, that's what I'm talking about. Um, and you can see it right here is Victoria Crater at Cape Verde. And this was in Sol 957. And, again, you guys will get the photo link. You guys know that. 
You guys be the judge. As always, you tell me what you think is going on. There's that photo there. And again, this is the first thing I think of is this here, the front of this. Now, I'm not saying that's what it is. I'm just saying, boom. And some people will say, well, no, it's just your pareidolia. Is it or is it really there? That's what we have to try to figure out, guys. And, of course, we've got this one here. Now, the side-by-side, -side, there's no link for that. I'd put the side-by-side. -side, but, uh, again, you guys can zoom in or stop this any way you want to. Have a look with your magnifier. Just pause it. And there you go. All right, guys, what are we seeing here? Leave your comments down below. Let me know. Are you seeing something more than I'm seeing? Don't forget to like the video, again, because it shows people that there's a lot more people on board. And don't forget to share it, because I think everybody should see this type of stuff, because it's being hidden in plain sight, and it's, it's just there to fool the people, when, in fact, they're really looking at something that's either ancient or was abandoned not too long ago. I don't know. Again, just pure speculation. Let me know what you guys think. Anyway, guys, got some cool ones coming up. We've got some more uh, Mars photos coming up, as well as more of the moon. And I think you guys are going to like these coming up as well. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one.